One day my mom was like, because of you, I don't get to spend time with my husband and I'm really unhappy here in Vancouver. So at that time I was like, okay, whatever. We'll just move. I'll just let go of everything that I'm loving right now and I'll just leave just to make you happy. Hello everyone, so despite being extremely tired, I wanted to make this video because I feel like it's just so 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 important. Growing up, I've always been the overcompensating one. So I've always been the one who's like, oh, I'm gonna compromise just to make you feel better. And I've done that in my childhood. I still remember I had such a great time in Vancouver, Canada. That's where I grew up. And one day my mom was like, because of you, I don't get to spend time with my husband. And I'm really unhappy here in Vancouver. So at that time I was like, okay, whatever. We'll just move. I'll just like of everything that I'm loving right now and I'll just leave just to make you happy. That's been this overarching theme in my life. I've just always been that overcompensating person, the person who likes to compromise just to make other people feel good or at least I thought they would feel better and I've even went through some breakups like that. Like I've called the breakup just because I thought that person would appreciate it if I called the breakup. Anyway, enough of that. I just want to say that it is very easy to become overcompensating, especially growing up Asian and you're taught to be obedient, you're taught to listen to your parents and all that, but this is really unhealthy. Why am I making this video? It's because lately I've realized a pattern that I've been doing and I've been overcompensating and after the fact I feel bad. Not just me, people around me too, they do the same thing. So they do things that they're not completely happy about. So for example, a friend asked them for a favor and that favor let it be help them move, help them pack or something like that. And I realized that they say yes, they say yes to those requests because they want their friends to be happy but they're not entirely happy about the request itself and they complain and they complain not only to their own friends but also to the friend that requested so this is a really really bad vicious cycle because not only are you feeling bad yourself you're also making your friend feel bad the friend who requested your help feel bad so <laughs> the more of the story is that we should stop overcompensating and there's only so much that we can do to overcompensate and to compromise we have a limit okay we're like a rubber band and and if it is held too tight, it snaps. And you don't want to snap on your friends. You don't want to snap on your friend who requested your help. And of course, you don't want to snap on your friend who did not request for your help, who's only there to hear you vent and all that. And of course, you don't want to snap on yourself, which is really, really bad for your mental health. So yeah, I just want to make this really quick video because I feel like I, I just want to invite Candy to the video. So I just want to make this really quick video because I just want to stop overcompensating okay like overcompensating is definitely not a fun thing to do and over time it really causes a lot of unnecessary stress in my life sometimes it's better to say no than to say yes and then complain or regret or feel bad afterwards because if you don't want to do it then don't do it like no one's forcing you to do anything it is better to reject in the first place than to do something half-assed and get angry about it or get upset about it or want something in return because helping people is not about wanting something in return. If you want something in return, that's called exchange. Doing business, that's called trading. It is not purely helping. And so if you are labeling trading as helping, that's also problematic in my opinion. So yeah, I just wanted to make this very quick video just about overcompensating and how we should all stop doing it and stop blaming other people for our own issues. If there's something that we don't want to do, say no, okay? If there's something that someone asks you to do, it doesn't mean you have to do it, okay? It is not a thing. All right, so enough negativity, enough venting. I will let you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night and see you next time. Bye!